Howdy folks, this is Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com and today we're going to be looking at planting different plants in a strawberry type jar, a terracotta clay type jar which I would imagine most everybody has seen and um, we had strawberries planted in ours last year. They did okay but not as well as one that was in a patch so um, what I'm going to demonstrate is how we can um, use the same vessel and plant different plants inside of it. One of the key things about these jars, and I think the reason we had some trouble with the, um, with the strawberries, was moisture. So I saw somewhere out there on the internet, you know, um, where somebody had devised putting a pipe down the center of the jar and drilled quarter inch holes in the pipe. Now this is just a sample. I've already put my pipe in there to ex expedite this demonstration, but um, quarter inch holes about every inch and a half or so, and you can run a row down on this side. You can alternate and run another row down and another row. So I have about four rows going down this pipe. The uh, bottom is just pressed against the uh, bottom of the pot. You wanna make sure, by the way, not to, um, if, if you don't want to see the pipe or evidence of the pipe, um, you want to cut it about two inches shy of the actual height of the pipe. So you have a little indentation there. And then I took a paper towel and just stuffed it in the very top of the pipe because we're going to be pouring dirt in and all around it. We don't want dirt getting down inside the pipe. All right. Well, we'll move on to the next phase, which it's recommended that we plant our planter while it's inside a wheelbarrow or some other kind of container, right? Because it's messy. There's dirt, it's going to spill out. You can, of course, plant it on a flat sheet of cardboard or whatever, but it is messy. So um, I'm using this, this wheelbarrow at hand here. And we're going to plant a number of things in the top. We're going to try experimenting with this little tomato plant. It's a type from Baker Creek, and it's called Teaspoon. And it has these little wee tiny little tomatoes. And I'm going to set it in here in the top. It's going to be the top performer here. Other plants to go along with that, going into these side pockets, we'll have basil, or basil if you're in the British mode, uh, dill, right? And um, I've always loved the dark opal or purple basil. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll attach that and we'll throw in some, um, some yellow marigolds as well. So they'll be kind of stuffed in around the side. So it should have a nice colorful rendition of all these different colors, the purple, the green, the red, and the yellow, and uh, make a nice little ornamental planting here. And I'm hopeful that the, the tomato plant supposedly will grow and start to droop over and kind of like, um, like tresses fall across this. Very ideal picture, right? But uh, I think it's worth a shot. And so we will proceed with planting the first plant first in the top. And that will be our tomato. And um, you all know how to, how to do the tomatoes, right? And one of the things that we always like to do is plant them deeper than uh, the current root system indicates. And have the stem will produce roots as well. So I'm just cutting off these leaves while a jet passes overhead. Turn these little guys off. Okay. Hope y'all could see that. And then this pipe is in the middle, so that's so the water will come down and distribute out through those holes. So I'm just digging down with my hand and putting this snug up against the, uh, the pipe, like so. Okay. And then we'll come back with more dirt. Got a lot of dirt surrounding here. Uh, you, you might want to add some fertilizer in here. I've already done a little amending of this material, so it's got plenty of potential and uh, nutrition. 
It's got compost with eggshells and other fine things that we're just going to set in around our tomato plant here. All right? It's already wanting to droop. <laughs> and then we'll just proceed. The, um, the pockets down here, you'll just want to dig out and make sure you've got a little bit extra room in there to uh, squeeze the roots in. And it's going to involve some mashing, right? And that's where you don't want a, a really root-bound plant, which this doesn't look like it is. So I'm just going to kind of let some of this stuff break away and mash this into the side. I hope you can see this. Turn it a little more. And like I say, this is this is kind of messy work. But I'm compressing this into the side of the uh, of the jar. And then we'll just proceed like this. I don't have to show you everything here, but you just finish it out and I'll show you all the finished product when we're done with it. But um, this is this is our experiment and this is our answer to um, how to work with it these pots are not inexpensive I was looking on the um, the websites various prices anywhere from 45 to 65 to 75 dollars for these things so it's a shame to just let it lay around and go to waste so we're making what we think will be good use of it this year if you all have any creative ideas or comments about your experience with the like, strawberry jars strawberry pots let us know we we're keen to know anything that uh, you all are doing out there and um, put your comment up on this channel you can subscribe to us and you can click on the bell to get alerts from us as we update our information and you can go up on our facebook page so um, thank you for listening and we will come back and show you the finished product